What's good, YouTube? We got some big news just in for Mike Wayne. We're going to break this down real quick, though. Let me know what y'all think about it. We're going to jump right into it, though. So somebody tweeted at Baluba, will there still be number animation releases in NBA 2K23 like there has been in previous 2Ks or only SIG releases? Mike Wayne said there are no more number releases. Jump shots have been completely revamped. All shots are named after players. So this is huge news. So no more base three, no more set shot 25. Those are two of the best jump shots in NBA 2K22. Along with that, you got to say goodbye to the releases that have been player for years, like jump shot 98, jump shot 38. I know a lot of bigs been using that for years, and they really been consistent, bro. Especially for the casuals, you don't have to play the game all the time to, you feel me, be able to just jump on every now and then or really just in the middle of the year, just jump on and automatically know a decent jump shot to put on. So honestly, I think this is creating more of a skill gap because you got so many people that got to learn new jump shots. They got to learn new animations. The dribbling is different. Takeover is different. Passing is different. 2K really changed so much about the game this year. Not even going to lie. So, yo, this is just adding to the skill gap. This is really exactly what everybody been asking for. And then on top of that, the jump shots got requirements this year. So, <laughs> yo, again, that's that's more heat. And what that mean is you basically not going to be able to just use the jump shot your favorite YouTuber is using and everything. I'm definitely going to have some jump shot videos coming for y'all. But you can no longer just use the same jump shot your favorite play shot using, you feel me, when you on a wing. Because he might be using a jump shot that only Smalls could use or... Maybe he's using a jump shot that you need a 93 ball for, and you got a 85, 86. So it's just adding more to the skill gap. And I think change is good because, again, you don't, you don't want to have the same game every year, bro. I know how a lot of people just say this game is copy and paste, this game copy and paste. Yo, <laughs> I got to admit, no, bro, I have not heard nobody say that this year is a copy and paste year, bro. Like, like I I know it's it's gonna it's gonna come soon, bro. Somebody gonna say it, but <laughs> so far, like you can't in your right mind say that this game is the same as Two K Twenty Two, bro. It's too much change. But the next tweet we gonna get into it. So right here, Shady Mike. I wonder if we can still blend releases and stuff. They might have just killed off a whole community. And if they did, it'd be hard to say it was accidental. We need answers. So somebody else tweeted, I don't know if I like this or not. Less diversity is worse. And I also had to change many jump shots for my roster and draft players. This robs my time. So I'm sure this is a my team player. And you know, I definitely understand if you play on my team and you, you got to look for a jumper because I never played my team, bro. So I, I, I honestly don't know what y'all go through on my team, but... If you got to look for a jumper, yo, that's too much, bro. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not trying to look for a whole new jumper if I'm playing my team. But any clarity here? Then Mike Wayne responded, the jump shot creator is still there. You can mix and match bases and releases and control blending and speed. The number of generic shots are gone, but there are way more SIG shots than we've ever had. You'll find plenty of options for your shot this year. So since Mike Wayne said there's way more six shots than we've ever had, I'm pretty sure he mean it. Well, last year we had between 70 and 100 SIG jump shots. I'm not sure how many, but it was about 120 number of jump shots. I'm sure they're not going to put out a game that we got less total jump shots. You feel me? So if we had around 200 jump shots last year, even if a lot of them was number of jump shots, and y'all got to remember, they actually giving us the stats on these jump shots too, bro. Like, with the requirements, they showing you the uh, the release speed, the time and impact and everything like that. So, this is kind of making it a little more simple, bro. I just thought about that because they actually giving you the player name, which make it a little bit more relatable. And then they giving you the stats to it too. So, you no longer got to go through 120 number of jump shots bro yo because i literally went through all the jump shots like testing them you feel me in 2k22 and in 2k21 but this do make it a little bit more simple and they give you the stats with it so you don't gotta just look at like base 100 and you feel me test it out for yourself they actually give you all the stats on the jump shot bro so 
that's kind of more fire. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. But another thing, I don't think they mocap that many players. So some of these jump shot bases is really just, like you still probably gonna find base three. It's just probably gonna be under another player's name. Like somebody with a quick jumper, bro. Like, like yo, it's it's gonna it's gonna be like a random point guard. Like yeah, it might not even be. Yeah, you know, it, it might be like a Terry Rozier jump shot or something. You feel me? Like, it might not even be like a superstar or nothing. It just might be like a random point guard. You'll find base three is, you feel me, his release. And it, not saying it's Terry Rozier, bro, but just making an example. Then you will go in that jump shot. You will speed it up. And you look like, yo, bro, this is exactly base three. You feel me? I'm sure it's going to be just like that. So the next tweet Mike Wayne responded to. Does pump faking take adrenaline boost the same way jumping for a block does? Mike Wang said pump faking doesn't use boost, but your shot ratings drop higher if you spam fakes. The more you spam, the larger the drops. So I don't think Mike Wang knew that he was talking about in the paint. Because I'm sure nobody's spamming fakes and spamming blocks on the perimeter. But <laughs> like, yo, there's no reason to jump twice on the perimeter, bro. Like, yo, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> you feel me? But Mike Wang didn't know what he was talking about. So he talking about in the paint when they spamming fakes and they pump fake 10 times, then go up. Honestly, the problem is the three in the key, bro. You got you got to call that that three seconds. But we're going to see if 2K actually fix that. I understand what he's saying, though. That you want adrenaline boost to be took when somebody spam fakes. It's just not. That's just really not the problem. I'm not even going to lie. And Mike Wang saying it's going to drop your attributes. It don't matter how low you drop somebody attributes when they up under the rim, spam faking 10 times. Like, yo, I think I seen a clip that literally counted the seconds and it was like seven seconds. You feel me? Then somebody still went up and got the bucket. You could fake on a perimeter and it's, it's going to have way more of an effect dropping your attributes than in the paint. Because I don't care how low you drop somebody's standing layup to, bro. If they up under the rim and they got you jumping for a fake <laughs> and they go up, bro, you can have 25 close shot, 25 layup, 25 standing dunk, bro, you still going to make that layup. Yo, over over, even a bigger center, bro. You feel me? And then on top of that, if you're the defensive player, you can't recover from a block attempt as fast as the offensive player can recover from a spam fake. Like, they could, they could fake you get you in the air and you you know how when you go for a block 2k have you fall like you come back down and you fall backwards you fall behind the rim and everything bro it's stupid bro you feel me whole time he's spamming fakes standing in the same spot then call three seconds on him bro nothing like yo he done moved his feet travel everything you feel me still faking and then still get the bucket on you 2k gotta fix that so i do know what my man was saying but I don't think adding adrenaline boost to spam fakes will, uh, will help just because of that aspect on the perimeter. Faking on the perimeter is not even a problem. It's faking in the paint, but it's the three seconds, bro. You feel me? But let me know what y'all think about the news. Let me know what y'all think about the changes. And you know, I honestly think the changes is for the good. We really just going to have a completely different game this year. Some people are going to be trash when they come out, bro. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Y'all know I'm going to still be up to spark, but... I'm going to hit y'all in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button.